Hey guys, let me talk about one of the more interesting cards of this particular set, Matter Reshaper. Now, this card is very interesting. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Bloodbraid Elf, but instead of more aggro, it seems to be more control. So a lot of times Bloodbraid Elf is attacking into somebody and they're grabbing, you know, they're, they're getting a tempo swing. This is kind of a control version of it. But it does have benefits over Bloodbraid Elf, uh, mainly that it, any deck can play it. And that's a huge benefit. That's one of the reasons uh, that artifacts, if they do see play in multiple decks, or uh, if they do see play, they will see play in multiple decks. Like hang a back walker because they don't really have that color restriction. Bloodbraid Elf, you have to be in Jund, you have to be red and green. Very difficult and modern to play outside of the Jun build, if it was unbanned, of course. Matter Reshaper, very solid card, in my opinion. It is 670 um, median. It has kind of dropped in price. So initially, the first pre-order of this price and on TCG Player, uh, the low was 710 and the median was 935. So it has dropped about 50% or 33% of its price to $6.70. The foil copies are going for a very nice amount, um, which shows as I'm not a, it's close to triple multiplier. So the median is 1957 for a foil copy. And that's pretty good. I'd much rather have foils of this than I think regular versions of it. I like it. I think it's one of the better cards that have been printed recently. I mean, if you look at Battle for Xander card, the whole set kind of sucks. Outside, outside Gideon and no, you, Ogamog, Yugamog, I don't see much value in this set. This set I like a lot because there are rares that are definitely more than bulk. And Matter Reshaper is one of them. I definitely would, wouldn't would mind that having multiples of these cards or even trading the, the, into them. Uh, mainly because to me, it is a modern playable card that will be tested. Will it be find a home in any decks? Maybe, maybe not. It's not like Kozak Return, which is pretty much has been designed for that deck to help that deck. Uh, there's no other way to like look at Kozak's Return and be like, oh well, okay, they didn't did not design it for that deck. So Matter Reshaper has a lot of possibilities. I like it. I just am not positive whether or not it will find a home in modern. It should be very good in standard though. Uh, card draw, card advantage in any color, because you still have the enemy pain lands, in any color is very relevant because any deck can play it. It's a hang a back walker. If this card were to be hang a back walker, it's going to explode in price because it can put, be played any deck. I don't know if it's hang a back walker. And that's a very hard assessment because very few cards are, can do that um, as artifacts. But Maybe this is the one. Maybe they pushed it enough uh, to promote this new uh, colorless mechanic. Anyway, bye guys.